Creating Accessible Documents in Microsoft Word 2010. Lists, Columns, and Table of Contents. If you already viewed the requirements to make a Word Document Accessible module, you learned that properly formatted lists and columns are both accessibility requirements. In this module, we describe how to use the tools included in Word 2010 to make lists and columns readable by everyone. There are added benefits to using these tools to make your work accessible. It is easier to do and easier to make changes. A feature of Word 2010 that enhances accessibility is the automated table of contents tool that we will discuss later. Lists. There are several ways to create a list in Microsoft Word 2010. One of the easiest ways is to use a list style. Available list styles can be found in the same styles pane as headings. You can apply the style before or after you type the list. If you choose to type first, highlight the list when you are done and click on the style of your choice. Word provides styles for many list forms including paragraph, bulleted, numbered, lettered, and list continue for when an item requires more than one paragraph. You can also start by selecting a style before typing. Whenever you want to add another list item, just press the Enter key. When you're done, click on the next style you want to use. Another option is to use the Bullets and Numbers tools, which can be found in the Lists section of the Productivity Accessibility ribbon. By clicking on the image above the drop-down menu, you can apply the last formatting used. But by clicking on the drop-down, you can choose a style from the most used or even define a new one. This option is handy when you want to use a specific image or symbol as a bullet. No matter how you make a list, adding and erasing sublevels is the same. Press the Tab key to indent an item. Hold the Shift key and press Tab to move it back to the left. Columns. In order to be accessible, columns must be created using the Columns tool, which is located in the middle of the Productivity ribbon under Layout. Once you have written the text, highlight it and select the number of columns. You can also adjust the width and spacing of each column by clicking on More Columns. Columns should be read from top to bottom and then from left to right, like a newspaper. Some may be tempted to create the appearance of columns by pressing the tab key or spacebar, but a screen reader will read over the tab and into the next column. By using the columns tool, screen readers can read the document in the correct reading order. Plus, it is much easier to edit column text when it is formatted with the columns tool. Table of Contents Creating a table of contents is an easy way to enhance usability for everyone including people with disabilities. When headings are organized in a table of contents, the reader can quickly review the information contained in the document. Like the document Navigation Map, a table of contents outlines structure and allows for quick navigation. From the table of contents, you can skip to a certain topic by pressing the Control key and clicking on the heading. If you decide to include a table of contents in your document, 1. First place the cursor where you want to insert the table. Press Enter to move the rest of the document down if needed. 2. Click on the TOC button and choose a format for the table. You can choose an automatic or manual table. If you use an automatic table and make edits to your document later, you can select Update TOC to include your changes. If you use a manual table, you must add the title of each item and enter all updates and changes yourself. Word 2010 has tools that are easy to use, which can help you make lists, columns, and documents readable by everyone. This concludes our module on lists, columns, and table of contents.